At the heart of the debate about nuclear power in this country is what to do with all the radioactive waste that nuclear plants produce. A plan to bury it deep under the Nevada desert has been shelved, and now those spent nuclear rods are piling up. NBC's Tom Costello was given access to one plant in Louisiana and the pool that holds 25 years of highly radioactive waste. On the banks of the Mississippi, just upriver from New Orleans, sits the Waterford Three nuclear island. Surrounded by barbed wire, cameras, armored cars, and roving SWAT teams we can't show you. Getting a peek inside is rare. This kind of access is unprecedented. From the plant's control room, past the cement casing for the nuclear core, then up a long, narrow staircase. And there, with signs warning of potential radiation, a first-hand look at one of the most vexing problems with nuclear power. In a massive pool, every radioactive spent fuel rod ever produced at this plant, 345,000 of them. Well, how much radiation are we being exposed to? Right now, if you look at your electronic alarming decimeter, you'll see that the dose rate is zero. Zero. 25 years worth of radioactive fuel rods kept at a constant 90 degrees. Those spent fuel assemblies are resting in 360,000 gallons of water. Between the rods and the top of the pool, 23 feet of water providing that radiation barrier. It takes years for the rods to cool down, but this pool, like so many, is full. So the rods will soon be moved outside to these giant cement casks, where they're likely to stay for decades since the U.S. currently has no long-term plan for storing nuclear waste. You're still in a much better situation than if you store your spent fuel in a pool and the pool gets damaged uh, and then you have everything in the pool is at risk. Nationwide, nuclear plants are sitting on more than 65,000 metric tons of radioactive fuel waste stored in both pools and cement casks. As the waste piles up, the casks stack up, each one weighing 360,000 pounds. Security experts worry terrorists could target the casks with a missile or an airplane. But operators insist they're sealed, leak-proof, and designed to last for hundreds of years or longer. The three-foot thick concrete with a stainless steel metal canister inside that's welded, sealed shut um, with inert gas inside that uh, metal canister. Without a permanent national storage solution, casks and pools are likely to remain, for now, the only solution and destination for America's nuclear waste. Tom Costello, NBC News, Kelowna, Louisiana.